Hey, welcome to today's tutorial on monitoring RF bands using a cheap RF log detector. Service. This is the Israeli with the German accent. In this video, I will demonstrate how to track two different frequency bands, 2.4 GHz and 5.4 GHz, without the need for a spectrum analyzer or expensive power meter. When for example your measurement task is not about absolute power values rather than just to verify RF power. Or you want to measure the transmission duration in a certain band, for example a jammer. The AD8317 is a logarithmic RF power detector which receives RF power from minus 55 to 0 dBm and provides output DC voltage from 1.4 to 0.4 volt with a resolution of neg 22 millivolt per dB. Let's describe the setup I am using for this experiment. The HackRF SDR with a PortaPak display is a relatively cheap vector signal generator up to 6 GHz. I will transmit with its application a hopping jammer in two bands, namely 2.5 and 5.4 GHz. In order to verify my transmission and transmission power, I will use a directional RF coupler and connect it to my lab spectrum analyzer. The signal is then going through an RF splitter to divide it into two RF filter paths. One to filter out each hopper frequency. So each log detector receives a dedicated band power of its own and outputs a certain voltage to my Arduino Nano analog inputs. Let's summarize the setup in the animation. I am transmitting a continuous wave CW signal that hops within a 10 MHz bandwidth. Pay attention to the frequency axis on the display highlighted in yellow and red. You can see the application on the left and the spectrum analyzer on the right. The hopping signal occurs every 10 milliseconds per band. As we switch between the 2.4 GHz and 5.4 GHz bands, this hopping behavior allows us to explore different parts of the spectrum efficiently. Now let's go to the Arduino plotter output display. The output values have been normalized in the code to reflect the measured RF power. In here I have switched on and off the RF transmission to see its reflection on the plot. I am sampling the analog inputs A0 and A1 in one second cycle, but you can change it. Now let's compare the marker output of each band and the Arduino output plot. The yellow applies to the 5.5 GHz range and the red to the 2.4 GHz. This has been valued after loss calibration and normalization of the DC values in the Arduino analog inputs. As can be seen, the SDR as signal generator is not linear over its band. Thanks for watching and feel free to comment and share.